Hello and welcome. Um, this weekend, I'm trying to get my head into the uh, GB Duro mindset. I've been struggling a bit and it's only two months away. Um, I've got to my travel there and back, so that's kind of helped set in my mind that I've got to get this stuff done. So, um, yeah, my rides are generally starting to get longer. But tonight, it's such a lovely warm night, I'm out to test all my new sleep kit. I had an outkit soloist tent, which was great, um, inexpensive, and a good place to start. Um, it's got enough room that you can sit up. It's got enough room to be able to just about put your kit in it. And it's relatively freestanding, which means that if you're sleeping in a rocky place, and it's not windy, you don't need to worry about pegging it down. So um, it's been pretty good, but it weighs 1.2 kilograms. And I've been looking at other tents that weigh less, um, but I still want enough space. So what I've gone and done is I've gone and bought myself a Terra Nova Photon 2. Um, so it's actually a two birth tent and it weighs 400 grams less than my outkit solo. So I've got more space and it's a third of the weight. It packs down really, really small. I'm slightly nervous about its durability though, because it's very thin. Um, it's supposed to be waterproof. Not that I'm gonna get a chance to find out tonight. Um, the other thing I've bought myself is a wider sleep mat. I've loved my Cetus Summit um, Ethylite thermal one, the one that's quite warm. Um, but I've still found, even though I find it really, really comfortable, that I'm not sleeping well on it. Um, one thing I found out was that sometimes side sleepers, and I'm a side sleeper, um, tend to need a slightly wider mat. So I've replaced it. I've now got the women's, still the Ethylite, thermal whatever it is um, but it's the women's one which makes it slightly wider and it's the large one I didn't need it for the length because I'm a bit of a short ass but the white the extra width only comes in the large mat so unfortunately my mat is 200 grams heavier than my previous one but I've still got an overall weight saving of around 200 grams but I've got a bigger mat and a bigger tent anyway I'm off to a campsite now um, and I'm going to give it a go.
set up um I definitely need to get quicker at setting it up but setting it up for the first time in the dark didn't really help and um one of the things that makes this tent really light is the fact that it doesn't have normal pegs but I mean the pegs are they're more like paper clips than anything else so I suspect I will probably get some titanium some small titanium pegs um which will probably mean I'll lose benefit of the 200 grams total saving but anyway um this mattress is great i don't feel like i'm gonna fall off it so that's good and this tent's got loads and loads of space um if you can see behind me so for such a lightweight tent it's um it's narrow at one end so i really don't know how you can get two people in it um you'd have to be very very good friends and uh, be happy to play footsie with each other i think um there's just about enough width maybe for two people very close together at the top but one of them would have to be even shorter than me i suspect um but yeah it's a great tent it's um i think it's probably easy to put up but trying to do it for the first time when it's almost dark didn't really help but for now I'm going to see if I get a really good night's sleep. Over and out. Bye. Good morning, good morning. I've just woken up. I had a great night's sleep in my tent. That mat has made so much difference. And the tent was plenty roomy. Um, not such thick material as other tents I've had. So you could just about feel a little bit of breeze coming through. But it was fine. Um, Nice little campsite. There we go, I'll turn you around and you can have a look. Not a bad sized tent really, considering it weighs 800 grams. And priorities, getting the tea on. Although I have found out on this site, there's a little um, pop-up barista van. So I'm gonna go and get a proper coffee in a bit and maybe some breakfast. But so far, so good. I slept for almost seven hours, which is unheard of for the first night in a tent. So as far as that goes, that's good. On the downside, I um, took rather a long time to put my tent up, although it was dark. So I was fiddling around with these little tiny paperclip sized pegs in the dark. Um, hopefully I'll be able to find them all when I put them all up. But yeah, it's been great. I'm very glad there's a Bristol van run out of gas. Oops, fail. Coming out to a little piece of heaven, freshly brewed coffee and hopefully some breakfast in this tiny little campsite. I've made a few um, weight sacrifices in aid of comfort. After all, there's no point in um, carrying stuff to try and sleep if you can't actually sleep in it. So one of the things I worked out that was a problem for me was that my sleeping bag would always either get wrapped up in me or just fall off my sleep mat. So I found a solution. Take a look at this. So my Big Agnes sleeping bag is a Three Seasons, so it was a bit warm last night. But one of the handy things it's got on it is it's got the ability to attach it to your sleep mat. Which means, no matter how much I wriggle around at night, the sleeping bag never ever falls off my sleep mat. How cool is that? I'll tell you what, it's been a game changer when it comes to sleeping.
when you come out of the woods and you see this. This is brilliant. I'd like to talk you through the um, how I packed everything, the bike pit, the bike kit. So here's my bike, which is a Ribble gravel bike, and um, my kit is mostly tail fin. Um, I do have one item that's not tail fin, but that's only because they haven't made it yet. So let's start with my top tube bag. Now this is very handy. It's just clips on and off. Um, this one's bolted on because I've got the option to bolt on on my bike and it's brilliant. It doesn't move from side to side. Even when I sit, at, sit on it, it doesn't budge. So that's really good. And that's really for just filling with food and things. Um, the other thing which is not yet available in the shops, but will be um, soon, is my tail fin frame bag. Now I've got a um, small frame, so having a frame bag that fits so that I can still have a water bottle is a challenge. But in here, I've got some more essential items, I've got more bars, I've got arm warmers, I've got my um, multi-tool, I've got sun cream. Um, I could put a charger in there if I wanted to, if I wanted needed to charge things as I was going along. So the op there's various options. In the front here, I've got an Altura Vortex roll front bag, which is brilliant. And my sleeping bag's in there. And um, you saw earlier how big and chunky it was, but it fits in there quite neatly. Um, and even with my narrow handlebars, the rolls don't actually get in the way. So that's pretty good. And also if I'm racing, my spot tracker fits on there brilliantly. And there's some more somewhere or other. There's some more things I can hang it to. And when you're um when you've got bars, you've got something extra to hold it onto. So it keeps it away from your uh, your wheel. And if you happen to have a dynamo light, for example, or a light down there, it keeps things away from that as well. Moving on in this front pannier which is the um this one's the large tail fin pannier um in there i've got my stove which is quite big but there's plenty of room as well so it could be that i'll put a rain jacket in there um anything really lightweight on top and i'll put one for gb Dura, i'll put one on the other side as well it'll probably be full of food um moving to the back so in the back i have my error pack which really doesn't have much in it apart from that book i decided to take with me and read this morning um but that sits there very neatly and obviously there's loads more room in there so i could put clothes and food and things in there and i've got two of the mini panniers which are ideal i went for mini so i wouldn't overfill them and my tent and a few clothes are in that one and my roll mat or my sleep mat and a few more items, um, a bit of food and whatever is in there. And that is my setup. And although there'll be more food and more clothes when I do GB Duro, um, hopefully I shouldn't take anything more with me. I've pretty much got everything I need um, and I need to keep the weight down. So um, yeah. I'm quite pleased with it so far and apart from when I'm going uphill I hardly know anything's there. If you'd like to know more about the kit that I've been reviewing in this video then I'll put details and links to it all in the description below. And if you have any questions then let me know in the comments. I hope you've enjoyed this video and this review and if you'd like to see more then subscribe and follow. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.